Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing a much requested set and these are the new Target Phil Taylor Generation 7 Power 95 darts. Uh, quite similar to the Generation 6 but that was a really nice elegant looking dart and although they look very similar there is a little bit of difference so let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 24 gram version and as the name suggests the 95% tungsten you can also get them in 22 and 26 grams and soft tip in 18 and 20 grams and the retail for £82.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging uh, quite neatly done and it's got a kind of a lift up flap and all these sections kind of got like a glossy picture style effect and inside there's a form insert holding the darts in and underneath you've got the little target pamphlet 23.9 grams it says on that and the darts are already fitted with the titanium 95 power shafts which are the new ones which have got some uh, quite deep grooves on and also the kind of sandblasting and it looks almost like a kind of a whitish colour that and you also get the Swiss point tool because it comes with the diamond Swiss points so that's what you get in the pack so the dots are fit with the diamond pro Swiss points and it's your classic tailor shape kind of like a, a long bullet shape which originally came from the John Law style I think and like I said the Gen 6 was a very elegant looking dart and this one has a lot of similarities to that um, now the differences are more clear when you look at them it's got these sections on the nose just like little notches and it's got a silver nitride coating which has also been sandblasted so that's why it's got a kind of a, a whitish silvery colour and around the middle you've got a very fine ring grip and then there's quite a fine double thin ring grip with the notches cut through uh, so it's probably just around about medium level but I think that sandblasting coating just adds a little bit of extra to the grip it has like a kind of a, a dry feel to it um, it looks not quite nice that coating though almost looks white in the, the light I've got here but it is meant to be silver nitride I didn't even know you could do silver nitride and then the power shafts have got these new uh, heightened grooves in so anyone who likes to grip there got a little bit of grip and it's also got the same silver nitride sandblast coating on there so that's grippy as well not massively grippy but like I say kind of just has like a dry feel to it uh, it just enhances the grip a little bit and there's the new Taylor power 16 times world champion ultra flights and like I said before I'm not that keen on them little flights but you can get used to them if you play with them long enough but I still prefer my old standards but uh, I do find it a very comfortable dart but I, I've always tried them with these flights on it and I always struggle with them so <laughs> but we'll give them a throw with them so there you go fit with the Diamond Pro Swiss points 26 millimeter it's got a tapered nose with these teardrop shaped notches that's 11.3 millimeters and then you've got a section of very fine ring and groove grip that's 8 millimeters and then a double thin ring grip with lateral cuts through that's 7 millimeters on the rear it's a smooth tapered section which is 13.7 millimeters length is 40 millimeters width is 7.75 millimeters It's 
24.01 grams. Twenty four grams exactly, and twenty four grams exactly. Full setup twenty six point two seven grams. With nothing attached, the balance is a little front of center, and with the supplied setup, it moves a little bit towards the rear. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So it's not an especially grippy dart. Obviously the front and the rear are not that grippy, but around about the same level, the matte sandblast coating just adds a little bit of a dryness. And I think that just maybe enhances the grip a little, but overall it's only the middle section that's grippy and I'd say five at best. I don't know about got in the treble. <laughs> The last one and the second one kind of were flying a little bit like that just as it was getting near the board but it seemed to be leaving my hand a bit like a, a bullet really but it's just because I'm not used to the little flights but I think with these being a 24 gram instead of the 26 gram which I've tried other times just feels a little bit easier to throw oh flipping heck oh well, I got that treble on the last one but got quite a nice feel to that not particularly grippy it just has a kind of a dry feel to it um, I was kind of gripping half on the nose and half on that thin ring grip but as it's a short barrel you're probably best off gripping it a little bit further up if you're a natural front gripper but I'm going to try fully on the grip in the middle now yeah it's very very nicely balanced there but it's only a short barrel so that's obviously why and I think out of all the uh, um, Taylor darts that I've reviewed the nine fives. These are probably the closest to the John Law style, which what is originally they were based off. So, to me, that's a good thing. But if you're one of them people that like to grip with your fingers along the barrel, short barrels like these, probably not going to be any good for you. So I'll try the rear section now, which is obviously a smooth and it tapers. So it's going to be all over the place on this bit. I was spinning like crazy as well. But I think if you like a short barrel style and you already like the John Law style, this is a very nice variation on that. You got trouble from the rear. But I've never really liked these tiny flights, so. <laughs> But the bat itself as a whole setup, it's just like a little zippy bullet through the air.
let's check out the ratings. Once again, a very nice looking dart. It could be the old setup with the stems and the flights that makes it look so nice though, but nine out of 10 grip bit low on this one so 5 out of 10 weight match nearly perfect so 9.5 quality very very nice so 9 value it is pricey so 5.5 well, I think I just uh, I didn't put the same effort in on that last start <laughs> anyway that's the target Phil Taylor power 95 generation 7 another very nice looking barrel um, probably like these a little bit better than the gen 6 the gen 6 was a really nice start and i think they've just maybe upped the looks slightly um but this is for me the closest to what the original uh john law style was which i think is when uh taylor started to use this style of barrel and i think that's why i like the feel of them um that grip around the middle not particularly grippy but the kind of sandblasting coat and just adds a little bit to it um you do get marks off your points along that though but they don't seem to be as um prominent as the way on the ones i've tried before maybe it's down to the color i don't know uh so who will it suit well i guess if you've never tried a short barrel dart before you're probably better off getting this cheaper version first just to see whether you like it and if you want to go for this then great but front middle or rear grippers it's one of them darts that you either like or you don't but uh, very nicely balanced because it's only a short dart and the old setup is quite short so it's very zippy through the air and especially with them little flights which to me are a little bit disconcerting because they're going that quick through the air but um i didn't feel it as it is if they were flying as badly as what the other ones i've tried before and that may be down to the fact that it's a, a lighter barrel i think before when i've tried the 26 gram they just go all over the place and i just can't control them at all maybe i should have gone for the 22 gram it would have been better still but there you go so i'll leave you with the gallery where you can have a closer look at the darts and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And I'll see you on the next video. Happy darting.